Bond to Turner officially registering in Greene County this morning. And tonight we're hearing from the sheriff about what is next for him. To news reporter Maytal Levy live with top story number one. I'm at the Sugar Creek Police Department just a few miles away from where Turner lives. Today, he spent about 30 minutes registering as a sex offender. Now, for anyone who hasn't heard about this case that's gained national attention, a quick internet search of Brock Turner's name, and you'll see he's now a registered Tier 3 sex offender for the rest of his life. Take a look at this video of when he went to fill out that paperwork. Turner sat quietly as he filled out his registration forms and took his new mugshot that is now posted on an online sex offender database. The same form and a new mugshot will be taken every 90 days for the rest of his life. Here's a closer look at that paperwork Turner filled out. He was asked about the crime and the victim. He admitted there was alcohol involved, but couldn't describe much about the victim. He did write that he met her at a party. Turner was released from a California jail on Friday after serving three months of his controversial six month jail sentence. His family moved out of Oakwood following the incident to Sugar Creek Township, where Green County Sheriff Gene Fisher says he will be treated like any other sex offender. But this isn't like any other case in his 13 years as sheriff. To this extent, um, close, but um, um, this is probably the, the top one for my career, my whole career. This was a, a crime that was um, very severe. A young lady is. Um, uh, emotionally going to carry this for the rest of her life and it's it's, it's sad. Today I obtained that form that Turner filled out. To read it for yourself, you can go to WDTN.com. Coming up at 6, you can hear how this is impacting the Sheriff's Office. Live, Mates Hall Levy, 5 on 2.